When machining models, there are many examples where, to create the perfect toolpath, you can use geometry. In this example, I wish to make a single profile pass around the outside of the model. Theoretically, I should be able to achieve this by setting the profiling cycle to solid. After all, this is a solid model. I have picked the model, but the toolpath not only goes around the outside, but goes everywhere. I pick the whole of the model, so of course the toolpath is obliged to cover all of the shape. Maybe creating a boss feature and using this with the cycle will work. To play safe, I've also requested contour, bosses and profiles. But unfortunately, this will not work. So do I leave the outside unmachined? This is a great example where normal plane geometry aids machining and this is why you find wireframe in most of the cycles. A further issue is the stock shape. Edgecam automatically creates stock from the model. We are not seeing the correct stock in our simulator. In this instance the stock is a profile shape 2mm larger than the part. If I open the preferences command under the solids tab I can see the reason why the stock adopted the same shape as the model. I will now disable auto stock from model. From the features window I'll also delete the stock and the duplicated model. We need to create our own stock. Under the geometry command you'll find stock and fixture command and here we can create various extra stock shapes. Specifically in our case I need to create profile stock. Whilst in the dialog I can determine layer and also the colour. Dismiss the dialog and the command request points on the profile. In other words stipulate the profile geometry and that's where we have a further challenge how to create the correct shape. We don't expect the user to physically draw a shape. We use Edgecam's geometry from solid command. I've selected Silhouette and will now pick the solid model. Remember to use layer control to separate the various entities. The result is a continuous entity marking the exact shape of the model. Because the stock profile needs to be 2mm bigger than the model, we can reach out to the offset command and create a second profile. This profile is the geometry we will use in conjunction with the stock fixture command. With this new shape, I can now launch the stock fixture command. I set shape to profile and the depth is 40 millimeters. I double click chain, one single entity and Edgecam will select the whole profile. This is our simulator stock and accurately represents the machining setup. It wasn't necessary to use a second model designating it as stock. I'll create the profiling cycle, model type set to wireframe allowing me to pick the continuous. Because I cannot remember the thickness of our model, a handy tip here is to set depth to pick. This will force Edgecam to request an entity whilst executing the cycle. All other settings are fine, so I can OK the dialog. The profile, I pick the continuous. Point to specify depth, I select any vertex entity on the base of the model and this will return the value into the Z depth setting of the cycle. The toolpath looks satisfactory, a single skim around the outside of the model and we can accurately assess it in the simulator as we now have the correct stock shape. 